Hi Libra, thanks for showing up to watch your January love reading. This is for Libra Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus, as well as um, anybody spying on a Libra. And I just want to say I love you, Libra. That's it. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Um, what do you want in regards to love in January? Um, okay, so this is a conflict of interest here. You're sending out two different messages. You want things to not end or shift or change, okay? So at the same time, though, you want something new and exciting. So that's interesting. Why, what can, what can we know here that'll help us kind of move past this? Is it, you just have to make the mental decision to move on towards something new and exciting. <laughs> so this could be, um, like within a relationship, it doesn't necessarily mean leave a relationship. For some of you, it definitely means leave a new relationship and get a new, exciting, more passionate one. It definitely does mean that for some of you. But for others of you, it's just like a different way of doing things, okay? It's saying um, within your relationship, like let some things just kind of go and cease and start doing them new and different, okay? Now, what have you already learned in love in 2017 and years before that will apply to your situation in January now, 2018? And they say, um, you have learned that it's hard to walk away. Oh my gosh, I felt like I was going to cry there. I'm not usually super clairsentient every once in a while, but I just went, went bonk. <laughs> it was like, oh. all this heavy weight of like, you know, it's um, it's really hard when you love somebody very, very much to walk away from them if it's not exactly what you want. And it's like you love them 8 out of 10. You There's things that are just like irreconcilable, but you have to move on for something better. And part of you feels like maybe with them you're settling, but it doesn't feel like you're settling because you love them. But you know that you deserve something better. You know that you want something better. It's hard to trust that it's out there. And so this could be a better relationship you know, with this person, but it could also be a better relationship with somebody else. So you have to look at what you have in the past, like that you're still connected to. It could even be like, um, a way of feeling or thinking like, I'm afraid to be alone. So I stay in relationships that are meh, in, be, instead of going out and finding something new, because I don't like that in between time on my own. They're saying, these are things that you haven't thought about that you refuse to think about. It's like, you're sort of aware of them, but it's just hard to think about, and so you just don't want to deal with it. It's like, I got all this other shit to deal with. I don't I don't fucking care right now. And to be honest, it's going to take a really long time for me to work through these issues. So fuck it. Let's just see how things go. So that's maybe not <laughs> the right way to do it. Okay. Um, are you ready for love in January? And they say, not if you're not willing to think about these things. They say what's happening then is like love is coming towards you and you don't even recognize it as that because you're still focused on somebody or something from the past. So what kind of subconscious energies are going to come up in January that we need to focus on or work through in order to attract love? And they say we actually have to look at that pain. We have to look at what's kind of happened in the past and how, you know, people have maybe let us down or disappointed us or how we've let ourselves down and disappointed ourselves and moved past it. We have to understand that um, nothing's ever going to be 100% perfect, right? But that, um, especially with this cancer moon right now, that like sometimes you're just emotional and, you know, you're, you can't rely upon your emotions. They feel real and they are real, but they're not always the most accurate information. Does that make sense? They say things aren't going to be as challenging as maybe you perceive them to be. It is going to be a challenge, but it's not going to be that challenging. So you have to let go of this fear. They say some of you who have like a deep, intense fear to make the changes that are needed in your life right now or to release the past or to let go of certain people, they say it's because you're more focused on um, what could go wrong instead of what could go right. And you really need to get excited and have this trust in the universe, God, Allah, spirit, guides, angels, whatever that you believe in um, that that you're going to go in the right direction and that something better is out there for you. And it, it could even just be like a better feeling. You'd be better self-confidence. Okay. 
So what are your current blocks and how do we get past those? They say um, just like this resistance to want to think about these things and take those actions. You're creating this block on your own. It's not like a spiritual block. It's not like a curse. It's not like a jacked up chakra. It's an unwillingness. It's, it's unwillingness because you're going to have to feel it. You're going to have to feel all the emotions that go with it. So that's going to be your decision. Um, so how are you best going to be able to ready your heart for love in the month of January? And they say just being really comfortable with where you're at right now. And um, it's like just kind of releasing yourself from everything from the past. Like deciding. It's actually a super mental decision. How are you going to ready your mind? They say... If you want, you can wait around and look for a sign and things like that. Um, but really, that's not going to be the best way to go because it's very mental. <laughs> it's a decision. Okay, how are you going to ready your spirit for love? And they say just feel really confident and excited and enthused for the unknown that is coming. And know that things are going to shift and change really positively, like boom, overnight. And even though you don't know how or when or why they will. It's that trust, okay? So what's a positive thing you can do for yourself this month to either find a partner or to increase the love in your current relationships? Okay, so they're saying get really excited, enthused, um, like just, it's like, uh, like the movie The Elf, you know, when he just like sets out and he's like on this track and he's like so excited um, to check out the city, that's how you have to be about moving on towards something better, towards a new way for your relationship, um, to like kind of make things more exciting in your relationship or um, to find a new one. And they say it's really important that you decide to take action. It's not a month to be like mentally or emotionally lazy. They say you might feel like things are really secure as they are, like, oh, I'm feeling better than ever. So like, why is she bringing all this up? Well, the secret thing is... Um, like underneath this thought that you're having where you feel like, oh, so great, like things are, are starting to work and move in my favor is like um, there's a danger there that you're not being, that it's like you're a little bit paranoid and it's something that you're telling yourself to make yourself feel better to avoid thinking about the things that make you not feel better, right? Because you're sick of feeling like not so good. So you just like tell yourself this and, and they're like, well, a lot of that is true. There is still more work to be done. Does that make sense? Okay. So, um, you might not be feeling like you're at the top of your game this month. Um, and so that would also be a reason why perhaps you're not thinking about these things because in not stepping away from what it, we know and what's predictable, there is a sense of security there when we're feeling a little bit insecure. But again, it's going to be your decision. Like you don't have to allow all of these things that you're realizing and understanding to make you feel kind of icky. You don't have to, you just have to get clear on what your next steps are. So I'm gonna shift gears here and move over to a um, deck that will kind of give you an area of focus or something to meditate on um, with positive affirmations in the month of January. So you get acceptance. So you need to accept yourself first and foremost for who you are. And then you also need to accept your situation as it is. And if you can't do that, um, then make the change, right? So may I accept the facts is your affirmation. May I not fight against the facts because there are facts here that we're refusing to look at or see. May I appreciate that doors closing are opening new doors for me to walk through. And that's what I was talking about with that enthusiasm and excitement because it would bring in something really more passionate. Um, may I be at peace with my situation. So love and light. And I hope you can work through all of this. You have the most amazing Valentine's Day in February ever. Bye, Libras.